Hi, welcome to a tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. This is grab and go tutorial where we can control a DC motor using two relay module and ESP32 from Wi-Fi interface. Now the motor is off. I can turn it on. It shows it is running in counterclockwise. Turn it off and then change it. Change the direction and using your mobile device. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Today we're going to learn how we can control the direction of rotation of the motor and stop and start and where you don't need to control the speed of the motor so this is this makes it very easy with two relay module I will just uh, explain the wiring and without explanation of the code we go for the demonstration if you need to know how it works and the full explanation of the code and the wiring diagram it is available as part of my Arduino course at udemy.com where you can learn Arduino from ground up all material library and uh, code are available in the same place so you can learn step by step the link for my code is below this video in the description in order to start using ESP32 with Arduino IDE you need to prepare Arduino IDE for that purpose you will copy and paste it here you see it says package esp32index.json at the end so once you paste it here click OK click OK this is telling Arduino IDE where to get the board driver click on tools and then board boards board manager and here wait for this to complete at the bottom this bar graph and then type here ESP32 you see ESP32 by Espressive Systems it says installed in your case it will not be installed you will have install button here click on it and it will take maybe a few seconds or a minute and the installation once is completed click close now we have to tell Arduino IDE which board you're working with because the driver is ready click on tool boards this is Arduino IDE which you will usually work but scroll down until you see a line below that all of these are ESP32 and ESP32 rover module is the one that you click and select and the dot will appear now we have to select the port for that we have to find out which port we are using right click on the start menu device manager and you see port click on this arrow to collapse it and mine is using COM port silicon lab if I disconnect it now you will see that it will disappear connecting it back so this is COM6 note that click on tool port and you will see COM6 is already selected and now you can write your program and run it Let me now explain the wiring for the relay modules. This is the first, the second relay, that's the first relay. From this pin, we put one wire connecting it to the first uh, terminal of this relay. And then from the last one, leave the middle empty. From the last, get another wire connected to the last one. So once that is done, then on this side, I've connected the battery power for the motor this is my motor and motor is 12 volts and here i'm connecting here 12 volts one terminal is here the other one is here the polarity doesn't matter because you can control it from interface of your uh, device so this polarity doesn't matter positive or negative and then the two terminals here at the middle they are empty and then here i'm going to connect the two wires there my motor is connected to the middle these two terminals that uh, will determine the direction of rotation if you want to change it that also will affect the motor rotation this pin is connected to 5 volts and this is connected to the ground 
these two wires and here is my external 5 5 volts this wire from negative of 5 volts is connected to my ESP32 to the ground pin anywhere I have GND here or GND here and then here we have two two wires input 1 input 2 these two wires from the middle they go to pin 12 and pin 14 of ESP32 on my ESP32 I have here G12 and G14 and on this module if I put the USB on the other side it just says 12 and 14 there is no G so we will connect it to those two pins to understand the code we need to know this HTML page this is being uh, generated from the web server of ESP32 when we define ESP32 for the web server this is generated if I press Control and U you will see that this is the text behind the scene this page is result of this text and here is HTML and HTML tag ends here is the title this this title is displayed like that with header 1 h1 that is the size and then we have these push buttons three push button and then this is the text which shows the motor is on and off so this is generated by ESP32 now to use the code I will give you a code just open uh, copy it and create a new sketch here and I'm click selecting everything deleted and pressing control V the code is code is pasted the only thing that you need to know and change is these two pens pen 12 and 14 that uh, if you want to use other pens define them here just enter the number no G nothing and also and then here define your SSID for Wi-Fi and enter your Wi-Fi password pay attention if your SSID has uppercase lowercase enter it exactly if for example if you have a SSID of RoboJax with lowercase R you must enter it like this otherwise it will not work First, make sure the computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi as this device. As you can see, this is connected to RoboJax. Now, to access it, let's open the serial monitor first. Here is the serial monitor opened, and then press the reset button. Doesn't matter in your device if it, the reset is here or there. Just press it, and here it shows that this is IP address that you can access 192.168.1.104 or you can access it RoboJax ESP32 so here 192.168.0.1.104 that's the page coming from here and here when I click on motor on the motor is on in CCW and it shows also here Turn it off, change it to CW, and then turn the motor on. It is rotating. Currently, I've set the motor speed. Uh, I've reduced the voltage of motor, so it is not making much noise. If I click now, as you can see, it responds very well. To test it with your mobile device, your mobile device must be connected to the same SSID of Wi Fi as the ESP32. As you can see, there is, this is now connected to RoboJax. And I have opened the 192.168.1.103. Now the interface is coming from ESP32. The motor is off. It is going in CCW. And now it is running. I can turn it off, change the direction, and then turn it on. And it also displays the direction.
Thank you for watching. This was how to control a DC motor using two relay and ESP32. If you like this video and learn something, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe.